to meet you guys. Your makeup is stunning. Thank you. Uh, so first question, um, how hard was it to like lower your voice and play a teenage girl? Huh? Not really that hard. My voice hasn't changed since I was 12 as myself, so it's been it's been pretty easy to play a 13 year old girl. Yeah, and then for you, um, how hard is it to convey a dinosaur's emotion solely through roars? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a challenge. It's fun. It's a great vocal challenge because it's like bringing a weird broken saxophone, you know, and then it's like, here's the notes you want to play. And so it was It was an interest. You start to develop your own kind of language, you know, and it, it could be urgency. Lunella, we've got to save the drowning guy. And then we would maybe shorten it down to like maybe three sounds, you know, and then maybe if it's just, Lunella, I really, I love you. You know, and it's just like finding out what those sounds are. So it was really a fun vocal challenge, you know. <laughs> How do you warm up your voice for that? Basically that. Just kind of, I actually try all those sounds out before I actually read the script. I mark kind of where I think they're going to be there, and I try to kind of warm my voice up into that, into those sounds. You know what I mean? Can we hear I Love Fab TV roar? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I love what? Fab TV. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, um, both you, how does this, um, like, how does doing a role, a solely cartoon, differ for differ from like doing um, in person acting? How do you guys prepare for those different? Well, we don't have to do hair and makeup. We just go into the booth as like as we are, and that's it. Yeah, just prepping it. You know, just know what you know the script going in, and know what you're trying to what you want to convey, and uh, yeah, make it as this. It, it is theater of the mind too, because you don't have the hair and makeup or the set. You really do have to try to cre recreate all that in your mind, like, and while you're reading it or doing it, you have to live it out while you're while you're recording. <laughs> do you guys have anything that like you wear specifically, or just for yourselves to help get into character, or are you cool? Sweatpants, sweatshirt. All I need to do is to be able to move my arms and legs a lot. And once I can do that with sweatpants and sweatshirt, I'm good. I have a stuffed devil dinosaur now, a plush toy that I, I look at all the time, you know, when I'm doing the session. Uh, yeah, clothes that don't make noise and aren't too hot because the booth can get very hot. Yeah. They don't make noise. Yeah. Okay, so, what other projects are you guys working on? And tell me a little bit about Summerland. Ooh. Well, that's an album that I dropped a year ago or maybe two years ago. Um, I'm a very musical person and basically I just wrote that whole album by myself and produced it with my ex-boyfriend and it became something that I hold near and dear to my heart. I love it. Cool. <laughs> and then other projects for you? Uh, other projects? Wow. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I got uh, Lieutenant Shax on uh, Star Trek Lower Decks, and I'm very excited working on Star Trek. It's very, very cool and very fun. And uh, and we got more Hit Monkey. <laughs> this is a show for Marvel's Hit Monkey. We got uh, and I play Hit. I play the monkey, who's actually also very sweet. Uh, deadly though, much more deadlier than than Devil. <laughs> not intentional though. Oh, of course not. No. So, what's the lasting impact you guys think of this show? What's the what? The lasting impact. The lasting impact? I mean, we made history with this show yeah. being Marvel's first African American teenage girl superhero. So I think that I want people to take away that one person can make a difference, one girl can make a difference. And I don't know, it's just such a great show. I think that everyone should watch it. Yeah, it's it's great uh, on second and third and fourth viewings too, because it's just the art, the music. Every, and the animation just drive it. It's a very uh, immersive type of experience for a show. Uh, it's exciting. And science is cool. What The takeaway I love is not only is this the most brilliant character, she's a genius, but she's, uh, you know, she explains it. And, and you actually have a lot of scientific uh, stuff explained visually. Uh, 